Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Alabado Santísimo, sacramento de altar, y la Virgen concebida, sin pecado ni vidas, y la Virgen concebida. Bendecida Señor, honor y gloria. 
Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with our spirit. We pray in a special way at this Mass for the intentions of Barbara Olson. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. from the book of Exodus. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord blessed the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the children of Israel marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And so, and he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at dawn, the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army that had followed the children of Israel into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped, but the children of Israel had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus, the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall despoil them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. When you stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. me will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus was speaking to the crowds. His mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Was that a slight to his mother and his cousins? Because the translation from the, the Middle Eastern word uh, could be cousins or brothers and sisters. And we know that. <clears throat> but is that a slight of those familial relationships? No. Uh, I've pointed out many times and will continue uh, that the way that uh, points were made in the culture, in the setting for these people in that time was to ask a question so that everybody would be piqued to hear the answer. So when he addresses who it is that is in a relationship with him, so a relationship with the father are those who do the will of the father. He did it perfectly, and whenever we strive to do it perfectly, our relationship with him and our relationship with the Father is much stronger. We become more perfectly children of the Father. And that's what he was pointing out. Because nobody did the will of the Father more perfectly than the Blessed Mother at every moment of her entire life. So even with that point that he makes, no one reaches the height of that relationship with the Most Holy Trinity than the Blessed Mother. But that's not what I want to talk about today. 
Uh, <clears throat> you remember uh, several days ago uh, what the instructions were of Pharaoh uh, in the handling of the baby boys of the, of the Hebrews. They were to be put to death. In what manner? Thrown into the river. They were to be drowned. And uh, now we have the Egyptians wanting to wipe out all of the Hebrews. And they are drowned. And can you imagine having <clears throat> the, the metal plates and the, the chain uh, armor so tightly and ready for battle girded upon them? Uh, and then finding themselves out in the middle of the sea as the water rushed back in, of course they sank like lead. And so the very treatment, the very sin against the Hebrews, the sin against God's people, was the manner in which uh, those who were coming to eliminate them uh, were also taken out. Uh, at the um, Zoom meeting recently, a question came up regarding this this treatment of God. And uh, <clears throat> we had other things to talk about, so I didn't go into a lot of detail, but I've mentioned it before. We know that everyone who died prior to the resurrection, so the sacrificial offering of the, the perfect sac sacrificial offering of God's only begotten son, uh, <clears throat> and then the resurrection, prior to that, everyone that died went to the land of the dead, not hell, as we know it now, for those who reject God and his will throughout their entire lives. So even Pharaoh and the Egyptians were in the land of the dead. They weren't burning in the hell that we know of now. It, and so they had not rejected uh, the full message of salvation. That's why Jesus descended to the dead, or in the Apostles' Creed we say descended into hell, so that everyone that was there had the opportunity to accept the saving merits of Jesus Christ. Uh, we don't know um, and uh, won't know until we see the Lord face to face how they responded. But um, may it please God that even some of the worst actors in the Old Testament were saved when they knew the full measure of God's love and mercy. You know, just recently um, uh, in a press conference, the spokesperson for the present administration said that uh, uh, they're going to start, and actually it's already been going on since that so Snowden caper many years ago when Obama wanted, found, and killed, and he revealed what they were doing on the internet. And they certainly have perfected it now. And uh, the spokesman for the present administration said that they're going to be checking emails and texts and all of them because they were going to do something about the people who were guilty of disinformation. The problem is the blockage of information on the web <clears throat> that's being classified as disinformation can be pro-life messages. It can be concerns about uh, treatments for COVID or vaccines or uh, the transgender confusion. So anything that doesn't set well with the present administration is gonna fall in that category of disinformation. And if they can't block it, then they're going to pursue it. And this was something that Saki said, not something that I dreamed of. Uh, sad to say, the media is being used more and more to promote all kinds of confusion and sometimes disinformation on the other side of the spectrum, uh, implying that uh, some things that are not good, even evil, are good. Uh, this was in the news today. A state senator, I won't name the state, I won't name the individual. A state senator said he was denied communion this weekend, this is last weekend, because of a political matter. That's disinformation. Uh, his diocese responded that it had privately warned him <clears throat> he should not approach for communion due to his obstinate support for pro-abortion bill. Now keep in mind, <clears throat> Uh, the other day, uh, part of the definition of those who are not uh, disposed to receive Holy Communion, and even in the realm of possibly being excommunicated, involves the obstinate rejection of the truth <clears throat> on major issues. In a tweet on Saturday, July 17th, that senator uh, <clears throat> stated, so he, he brought it out, made it very public. I don't use tweet, but... Twitter or whatever it is, 
Uh, <clears throat> I don't tweet and I don't Twitter. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but anyway, I have a hard enough time keeping up with all the emails that come. I might get a few for this. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, he he tweeted, I guess, uh, that he was denied communion last night, he said, by the Catholic bishop and based on my political office. So there's trying to take something that really should not have been thrown out into the public arena. However, he was trying to garner more support for the confusion that he was embracing. And so blaming it on politics. Uh, he, he said, my new parish priest has indicated he, do, he will do the same after the last runoff. Please pray for it and listen to this now. Please pray for church authorities as Catholicism transitions under Pope Francis. So <clears throat> that's an implication that the Pope is going to change teaching of the church, the doctrine, even dogma. Uh, <clears throat> the Pope has said repeatedly he cannot and will not try to change doctrine. But here we have this self-identified Catholic who has promoted abortion publicly, and it goes on. Oh, and to imply that the church is like uh, so many uh, that are confused about trans anything. So now it's a transition for Catholicism. Anyway, in response, the director of communications for the diocese told Catholic News Agency on Monday that it is unfortunate that a, pa that a pastoral issue with a member of the local church would publicize it. It's really to his disadvantage for anybody that knows the truth. He explains that pastor, his own pastor, and the local bishop tried to contact him several times previously regarding his support for an abortion bill, warning him he should not receive communion. It did not happen on the spur of the moment, the representative for the diocese explained that he was denied communion. In terms of the diocese, we regret the decision that the senator made to politicize this, this issue. He went on to say, the pastor and the bishop reached out to him privately in regards to the support for pro-abortion bill that was signed by, he, he co-sponsored it, this senator. And the decision to deny communion, this is the diocese speaking, the decision to de deny communion has nothing to do with this office or politics. Abortion is not a political issue. They may politicize it. No, it's a moral issue. It's related to the first right of every human being, the right to life. No government has a right to take that away. God alone is the giver, and God alone has the right to take life. Uh, the bishop <clears throat> mentioned that uh, there's always an open door policy. They had tried to get him to come many times to have a conversation so that they could explain to him so that he could understand clearly why he was putting himself at risk, and really his soul at risk, but especially that he would not be dis, uh, properly disposed to receive communion. And um, Catholic News Agency tried to, to get through to him to get some kind of response, and he has not returned the message. Keeping in mind that the kinds of behaviors that are contrary to the will of God, like throwing the Hebrew babies into the river, brings consequences, even if it's not immediate, but it just keeps coming unless we repent. And so we pray today for all of those, and that's why I selected the uh, croppers for the, the mass, praying for the forgiveness of sins. We all need that. And we live in a time when many, many people that are in any kind of power positions, they need our prayers. And so with, uh, with mercy and patience, we pray for them and for ourselves that we will turn from anything that's contrary to the will of God Jesus said that our relationship with the Father, our relationship with him, is intensified if we do the will of the Father. Confident in God's love and endless compassion for all people, we place our needs before him in faith. That the Pope and all church leaders may be faithful to preach repentance 
and the good news of Jesus Christ to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Catholics may fearlessly, with love and without compromise, proclaim God's will for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's mercy and grace of conversion for all those who govern us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer because of injustice, discrimination, or hardship because of race or religion may deepen their faith in God and experience his protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That men and women may generously open their hearts to God's invitation to serve his people through their God-given vocations. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Prayer, that all who have died may experience the peace and life of Christ in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Prayer. and that by the working of the Holy Spirit, all bishops and priests will have the courage to proclaim with clarity the fullness of the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Father Joe Carroll, uh, for whom the funeral was, cel was celebrated this morning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Barbara Ostrin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear our prayers. Give us the faithfulness to do your will each day and to find the true peace in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with our spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end we are praying. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and also have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy even to enter under my roof, but only say the word and I my soul shall be
What has passed our lips is good, O oh Lord, and we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Grant us merciful God that receiving in this gift of forgiveness of sins, we may be able by your grace to avoid sinning from now on and to serve you in sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. And don't forget this Thursday is the solemnity of our patroness, St. Mary Magdalene, and uh, the Mass will be at 6, so the Eucharistic Adoration will be from 5 to 6. We'll pray the Rosary during that time, and then we'll have a, a, a little party afterwards. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace and glorify the Lord with our lives. Amen. Thanks be to God. Longing for the night, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Life 